Zohar, Parshas Korach, page 177a in the Zohar text. Now, I was, just a little note, um, I was using this edition, this um, Sensino um, edition, translation of the Zohar. And yesterday I looked in um, another Zohar that was just in Hebrew, he, um, Hebrew letters, and um, which is Arana Aramaic, but it was um, just in Hebrew. And I, I noticed that um, that it had some more material than was included in this edition. So maybe either that has extra things, or this uh, is a bridge that has less material. So when I'm reading portions from uh, from this book, just bear in mind that it may not be all that's actually in the Zohar, but it certainly is in the Zohar. I mean, I noticed that the, that the material that I read yesterday was in that Zohar, but in that Zohar there was actually more than than in here. So just bear that in mind. Uh, please bear that in mind. And um, starting today with uh, Parshish Korach, um, in the Zohar it's uh, 177a. And Moses said to Aaron, take your censer, etc. Rabbi Chia adduced here the verse, The wrath of the king is as messengers of death, but a wise man will pacify it. Proverbs uh, 16, 14. How careful men should be, he said, to abstain from sin and to watch their actions. For at many periods the world is judged, and every day deeds are placed in the balance and examined on high and recorded before the Almighty. And when the deeds of men are not approved before the king, wrath arises and judgment is awakened. But if when the executioners of judgment are ready to strike and wrath impends, there is found in the generation a righteous man who is inscribed above, then God looks upon him and his wrath is mollified. He is like a king who is angry with his servants and sends for the executioner to punish them but meanwhile the king's friend enters and stands before him and when the king sees him his face lights up and when he begins to speak he is glad so when the executioner comes and sees the king smiling he goes away and does not execute judgment and then the king's friend intercedes for his servants and procures forgiveness for them. So here, when Moses saw wrath, and now we're on uh, 177b, impending, uh, page 177b. So here, when Moses saw wrath impending, he at once told Aaron, who was the friend of the Matrona, I wonder what the the Zohar is referring to when it says Matrona here. Could be it's Metatron or Matat. Aaron was the friend of the Metatron, of the Metrona, to take the incense which increases peace in the world and binds the knot of faith, which is the joy of higher and lower and affects the removal of wrath. 